Hello and welcome. This is episode 3 of my series Let's Play an Electric Critzilla Artificer, a build made by Tilomer. And here I am at level 9. I know it's been a while since the last episode, I was fa having fun with this build and uh, I forgot and over level a little bit without making a video. So <laughs> I have a lot of things to talk about in this episode. So I took 7 levels of RT and then the level 8 and level 9 as a monk and now I have um, I have evasion and I have the monk stances and now I'm using ocean stance I like this stance better than uh, than mountain stance and um, mostly because of the will th plus three to my will saves because it gives you two wisdom and another plus two to all uh, saves and I like it for also for the plus two dodge cap and plus three percent dodge the minus two to strength is irre irrelevant I just need strength to carry things nothing else and so all my level up points went into intelligence for my skills I'm focusing into uh, search use magic device uh, sorry, search, uh, disable device, and spot for my trapping abilities and open lock, and then spellcraft, uh, use magic device, and um, concentration and the others that I'm putting points in occasionally. Uh, for the feats, as you remember, I started with the maximize empower and quicken. I continue with heighten and uh, spell focus evocation the first one and then I took inside for reflexes at level 7 and for the bonus monk feats I took lightning reflexes and uh, toughness for a little bit more uh, hit points my spells my level 3 spells are blast road and flame turret my level 2 spells are lightning sphere and lucky key and my level 1 spells are a bloody armor uh, resist energy and conjure bolt even though I'm not using crossbow at the moment because it uncenters me to stay centered as a monk I need to um, to use either kamas or hand wraps let me show you my enhancement so I took lots of goodies from arcana technician I took all the way up to Blast Road, all the SLAs, and then took all the line of spell criticals for 4% critical chance to fire force and uh, electric spells, and some points in intelligence, some spell points, and some 75% more healing from ones and scrolls. I'm not actually using heal scrolls at the moment, I don't have the enough use magic device. But I will, I will in a few levels. And from the Shintao Monk tree, I took enough points to open the way for Iron Skin, which gives me 20 PRR when I'm centered. Okay, my gear looks like this. For goggles, I have plus 5 intelligence. For the armor, plus 11 vitality for more hit points. For bracers, I have 60% fortification and death block. I could have had like 100% fortification, but I didn't find anything in the auction house. And I, I wanted to s make this character look newish. I didn't want to um, to go and give uh, this character money from other tunes and uh, twin gear. So I just go with whatever I can find or whatever I can buy. For uh, gloves, I just have a disabled device plus 8 item. It doesn't do anything for me in combat. Uh, I just got this ring from a quest that I was doing. Sheltering plus 10. So 10 enhancement bonus to PRR and MRR. It's really nice. Uh, for the belt, plus 4 strength. Just for carrying purposes. 
for the cloak feather fall and wisdom plus four for plus two to my will saves i like will saves i hate being held for the trinket i have a uh, dusk heart from uh, the sands uh, i improve force life so plus 28 points and dusk effect so 10 percent chance to for mobs to miss me due to concealment and for the necklace constitution plus five for more hit points for the head item wizard deep 85 more spell points and a resistance plus four so i have all these saves and uh, inside for reflexes so uh, my reflex saves are very high at the moment i like 23 which is which i i guess high uh, at this level so i'm happy with that and i'm actually saving some damage from claps sometimes <laughs> i have never played an evasion an evasion tune before so yeah so do i have anything else to speak about uh, let me show you what my hotbars have on them i am using uh, occasion illusion eight pots which gives me 13 um, uh, several hit points I'm using a blood of armor all the time 35 temporary hit points at this point or demo user action if you will I'm occasionally using um, resist energies and I'm always using lucky cape protection from evil gives me plus 2 to my AC and immunity to command spells from enemy clerics and uh, potions of heroism make me trap better and is plus two on my saves rage potions give me more hit points um, I'm using shield scrolls for the plus four to my AC and immunity to magic missiles I'm using expeditious retreat scrolls to run faster I have 65% chance to cast blur spells Blur will add 20% uh, miss chance to myself, and I have jump spells. I just like to jump higher. I'm carrying Visor of uh, Flesher and then Googles for the Death Ward clicky, but I have used it. I cannot use it now. Anyways, no mobs can uh, negative level me in here and uh, i'm using the ocean stance as i told you the spells the spell rotation is uh, flame turret at turret at number one then a blast road the sla version and the normal version and if i need to crowd control lightning sphere then sla version and the normal version are next and if i run out of slas i use static shock <laughs> I don't use it very often, it's not huge DPS or uh, good crown control because it's only, it only affects one mob. Okay, and I have Voice of the Master to swap with my normal um, trinket when I get XP. Voice of the Master gives me 5% extra XP every time I get, I get XP. And I have a search. Um, cannot see it but it's a search uh, helmet yeah search plus eight helmet for when I'm not uh, doing the search uh, the search uh, roll when I'm trapping as you can see even from this small first fight this build has a lot of damage of aoe damage so area of effect damage and i quite like that in this game in dangerous and dragons online mobs come to large groups they don't come one by one and having great area of effect damage is very powerful in this game I don't think flame turret is uh, affected by by um, spell power. So I think at some point with this uh, spell will be useless, but for now it's great. 
so. Let's cast another flame charge there. And I think there is a trap here, I'm not sure. No trap. I have never been a trapper, so I don't know. Show more you my hand wraps. Fifty six magnetism. Fifty six. My DPS is quite nice at this level. Four more pieces to get. Remnant. This quest has lots of collectibles. It's called uh, Scoundrel's Run and it's part of Three Battle Cove. The heroic version of Three Battle Cove. You cannot find this quest. Amplified in epics, but it is a fun quest, and the XP at level is neat. All the three by cove quests are very good XP at level. And not that hard of a quest, not that hard at all. So this is the entrance again. This map can be tricky because it overlaps at some point and it's a bit mazy a little complicated but I know this quest well enough to be able to finish it in reasonable time that's why I selected this quest to make for my episode so let's go this way there's only one way to go now. Down here. The enchanted mosaic here leads to the end of the drawbridge, then over the edge to the room below. I have to send power downstairs. Come on. <laughs> wow. 85% chance to cast jump failed twice. Okay. This is not my lucky day, it seems. So, is this trapped? Oops. That's the only bad thing about clicking your uh, about clicking your abilities. So plus eight will do the trick for us. Plus eight search and plus eight disable device. is trapped let's see if I get the search no 
come on. Okay, cannot. I cannot trap. I don't know where the box is. Oh. Okay. Almost. Okay, my handling is dead. Come on. I thought I fucked him. I thought I fucked him, but maybe not. Okay. The ground shakes. The second beat of the idol has been. Found. I don't need a hiring. I can solo this thing without hiring. There's three left. Okay, let's see. I I know where the two of them are. One is down that puzzle. So we power the door by doing that puzzle. The second one is here. So this symbol is called helmet. So blue helmet. And this symbol is called uh, an alien and green alien. All right. The wheels here clearly control so the leading to the blue helmet the and green alien. Okay, just because I know this one is elephant. Elephant is this one here, and the red one is I don't remember. But if we're slow enough, the, the door might open. <laughs> so it's the F. The idol of left the idol's okay. Third has been Let me quickly tell you the symbols. So this one is the alien. The next one is the elephant. And then we have H. Then we have a scorpion. Then we have F. And then we have the helmet again. And again, the alien. Let's take them one more time. This one here, which I'm showing with the mouse, is the elephant. Next one is H. And then we have the scorpion. And then we have the F. And then again the helmet. Don't ask me why. Ask the people who originally named these things. All the DPS things I had. I'm almost run out of mana, but I'm doing fine actually. Okay, I need anything from here. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. I meant to do that. Okay, well, let's actually find out where our iron defender is. Okay, we'll pack in there. He wants to get packed, and then I'm gonna order him to pull that lever. We could have just um, uh, 
unlock this door with the, the key we got from a chieftain but if you have someone to get a lever for you then when you go all this way around there will be an open door instead of a closed door so you'll, you don't have to do all the circle again back to the entrance let's go straight on and I think here you have an open gate instead of a closed gate that's because we used our uh, hireling or our defender so going back to the entrance and then there's only one aisle, uh, one piece left the one under the the puzzle bridge so this way down there getting the last piece placing them and we're finished So that was fun for me so far. The idol of Halloc's tail is the key that found the last piece. I really like no, and enjoy making yeah, YouTube videos. And I I especially like playing this build. <laughs> and I will I think I will take it as a theme for my videos, for my channel. At least to start with. I will start with taking builds from other players from the video forum and I will make um, YouTube videos and uh, let's swap to my our voice 10k XP so and I will try out those builds for you and for fun and for this channel so these first series are artificer based with electric Kritzilla, the next one might this be has not a druid or whatever. Write down in the comments uh, which build or which uh, class you would like me to play on another video if you if you want me to play another class or another build. I will do it anyways because I really enjoy making good videos. But if you, if you have any specific, um, let's say, uh, preference just write down a comment thanks again for watching guys and see you again next time with more of uh, artificial builds uh, more of this electric Zilla build I'm really looking forward to to cap this build because I believe the six warlock levels at the end will make this character really tanky and I, I'm really looking forward to cap this uh, character Anyway, see you again next time guys, bye bye.